Ah, uh, come on, baby. You know that I can totally hear you lurking around right now. <laughs> well, come on, darling. You're kind of stomping around like a baby elephant. <laughs> uh, didn't I tell you to go back to bed? Mm-hmm. I told you, like, every hour for, um, the last six hours, babe. <laughs> I know, I know, it's boring in there, but you have the flu, darling. You kind of need to sleep that off. Well, that's the best way to do it, and I'm telling you now, running around the house and touching everything, spreading your germs, isn't going to help the problem. <laughs> no, baby, it isn't to make you feel bad at all. I just want to make sure you get better and get better quickly, okay? So, yeah, get out of the kitchen, get back to the bedroom. Oh no, baby, I'll cover it. You know, if you're thirsty or hungry or anything like that, you just gotta, like, give me a call or a text or scream at me from across the house. Yeah, baby. No, it's not a problem at all. I actually enjoy taking care of you. Well, you know, you always take such good care of me whenever I get the flu or a cold or, you know, whatever. Mm-hmm. It seems to happen, like, every year. And, well, I'm definitely mm, not the greatest patient. Oh, yeah, babe. I mean, I know that I can be a total disaster when I'm sick. Running around, <laughs> whining. Oh, yeah, babe. Compared to you and me... Um, I would say you're totally a piece of cake. Yeah, you're the best patient ever. <laughs> and with that being said, you should go on, turn around, and get your butt back in bed. Go on. I'm just gonna watch you, babe. Mm, what? What's up? You're lonely? Aw, oh, babe, you could've just told me. Yeah, I don't mind spending time with you. I mean, I'm not so sure I want to get, um, close to you right now. You're a little contagious, <laughs> but, yeah, I could totally use some conversation. Well, you know, the house seems a lot quieter when you've been sleeping all morning. <sighs> I guess it's weird to have, like, a day off where we're not spending time together. Well, yeah, you got called out of work, but you basically got called out just to sleep all day. No, it's not a problem. Like I said, I think that's the best thing to do, really. Mm, yeah, it helps when you can just sleep through the body aches, babe. Yeah, I know. Flu sucks. Now, go back to bed. Come on, I'm coming. I just gotta grab a couple of things first. Mm-hmm. Yeah, babe. <laughs> Don't think I didn't notice. You slept through breakfast and lunch. Yeah, babe. You're gonna give yourself hypoglycemia. <laughs> That's just fancy for low blood sugar, darling. And I really don't think you need that nauseousness and, you know, the achiness from the flu. That's not a very good combination. Now, come on. I'm just gonna grab waters and... Mm, what do you want? Pop-tarts? Alright, which ones? Please don't say strawberry, babe. <laughs> I know, but I don't like those. Mm, I really, I really hope you don't pick those. I mean, obviously, if you want to do strawberry, we can do that, but... Mm, yeah, the cookies and green one. You know, this is why I love you. We, we're on the same wavelength, you know, same thoughts. This is good. We'll go with those. Now, hurry up. Mm, go on, get on the bed. <laughs> yeah, babe, I'm just gonna cover you in some blankets and pillows. Wait, are, are you hot? Or cold? Or what's the situation, babe? Oh yeah, um, I'm officially your nurse now, so I'm gonna have to know. Here, you should sit up. Mm -hmm. It's sometimes easier to breathe like that. Mm, hot? Are you? No, you're, <laughs> you're cold, really, babe? It's like you can feel the heat radiating off of you. Mm, yeah, if you're saying you're cold, but... I'm feeling that you're hot, just from your, you know, your hands, your face. I think your fever came back, babe. Yeah, we can check if you don't believe me. I mean, the shivers aren't totally uncommon with the flu, so... Let's see, where'd you put that thermometer? 
I can't talk. Thermometer. <laughs> don't laugh at me, babe. There's some words I don't say very well. Oh, well, just give me the thing. Okay, where is it? Uh, dresser? Got you. Mm, all right. Open up. <laughs> okay. Mm, just wait a few seconds here. <laughs> babe, you can't talk with that thing under your tongue. Close your mouth. Close your mouth. Okay. Mm, ah. Yeah, just what I thought. It's one-on-one, babe. Well, well, I already told you that the shivers are common. You probably don't feel it. Mm, no, it's okay. You just gotta drink some water and we can break it with, I don't know, you want an Advil? Mm, yeah, Advil's your best bet, babe. Mm, no, aspirin's a blood thinner. And I don't know if that's really what you need right now. I mean, it could break your fever, but I feel like that one's a little bit better for thinning out your blood, and if you're low blood sugar, you're just gonna feel worse, so we're gonna go with the Advil. Mm, yeah, we can eat first, definitely gonna eat first, but the faster we can break that, hopefully the faster your shivers can stop. Mm-hmm. <sighs> no, babe, fevers aren't actually a bad thing. Mm -mm, not at all. It's actually a sign that your body's fighting off an infection. Or at least, I think so. I think I heard somewhere it's when your body, like, gets really hot to fight off the germs. I don't know if it's true or not, but I know that a fever is a sign of, you know, something's going well. Even if it doesn't make you feel very good. Hmm, alright babe. Do you want to try to eat now? I mean, you can start slow. I don't want you to get nauseous and is your, like, stomach upset already? Yeah, I know, the achiness, the coughs. The flu is kind of like an all-in-one terrible thing. Mm-hmm, I know, babe. <sighs> I just wish I could hold you, but, um, I'm, you know, gotta stand a little bit far back. It's alright, baby. I'll be back soon. I know, I miss sharing the bed with you, but, you know, it's probably better you isolate for a while. Mm, yeah, one of us has to go to work, so we both can't stay home sick. I know. Mm, it would be fun, though. I feel like one day we should just call out sick. Is that bad to do? Like, maybe when we're not? <laughs> and we can just, I don't know, play hooky, go on an adventure. <laughs> I know it's probably kind of mean to talk about adventuring when you're, um, you're obviously not feeling great, babe. Mm, it's okay. Oh, um, I should probably ask. Do you want tissues? Anything like that? Mm, you're okay? Well, yeah, I see quite a few boxes. Would it make you feel better to watch something? Oh yeah, babe, I don't mind. We can watch something together. Do you want Hulu or Netflix? Netflix? Alright. I'm just gonna chuck the remote in your direction. <laughs> yeah, babe, get ready to catch. Okay, three, two, one. <laughs> hey, pretty good. Your hand-eye coordination's great, babe. <laughs> Wonderful. Mm, no, you should pick what we watch. Yeah, babe, <laughs> you're the one who has to lay here and watch it. And I can get up, run around. <laughs> no, I'll stick full time. I like spending time with you anyway. Mm, I really don't care, you can pick whatever. And while you're doing that... <laughs> yeah, drink up, babe. Well, I got one for me too, so then it's fair. I know water isn't like the most fun thing to drink, so... Maybe I can, like, go to the store later and get Gatorades or something. Mm-hmm, electrolytes. When you sweat, you sweat them out, so we can definitely have a lot of Gatorade. Or whatever you want. <laughs> I don't know if sugar's a good idea. Do you really want to have caffeine? Like, really? <laughs> I mean, if that's what you want, I'll get it for you, but it's probably already hard enough to sleep, love. Mm, I know. <sighs> Why are you looking at me like that? Oh, baby, I'm sorry. I really am sorry. I don't like to see you upset or hurting, and I wish I could hold you. Mm. <sighs> Fine, maybe 
just holding you for a little bit won't, you know, do any harm. Just, um, don't breathe on me. <laughs> uh, it's okay, babe. My immune system, pretty strong. Yeah, pretty strong immune system. <laughs> oh, speaking of immune system, we should probably pick up some of that vitamin C stuff, too. Apparently, that's supposed to be good. I don't know. I'm just, I'm just reading all this stuff online. Like, hey, what do I do if my boyfriend is sick and coughing like he's dying in bed? <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, don't look up images of the symptoms, though. <laughs> I know, babe, I accidentally pressed images. It was terrifying. I don't want to think about it anymore. Mm, okay. Oh, yeah, definitely long day, babe. Long day. Okay, so, fine. Just don't tell the doctor that we're actually doing this. Mm. Yeah, he was like, distance, go into a separate bedroom, blah, blah, blah. Well, you got the Tammy flu, right? Mm, yeah, it's supposed to make the symptoms shorter by quite a few days. Maybe you're a little less contagious? I don't know. <laughs> Let's just do it real quick. Come on. Come on. <laughs> you can lean back on me, babe. Mm-hmm. You can lean up against me, and that way your nose and your mouth, they're facing the other direction. And you're sitting up, not breathing on me, but... I can still wrap my arms around you like this. Oh, I miss this feeling. It feels so nice, babe. Mm, it always feels good to cuddle you. You're so hot, though. I'm sorry. I mean, you're hot and you're hot. <laughs> but, like, you get the point. Come on, come on, come on. How's that water going? Mm, good. You gotta drink, like, at least half. Yeah, babe. You want to be able to drink that so then we can break the fever and we can take, I don't know, Advil or something? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that will work. But you should eat first. If these Pop-Tarts aren't what you want, I can get something else. I know that you got, like, a loss of appetite thing and, um, if you would prefer, like, takeout. Yeah, I can order from wherever, babe. I really don't mind, to be honest. I mean, I could cook too, but I don't know if that would make you even sicker. Uh, you know, I'm getting there. I'm trying, okay? What do you mean my cooking's what got you sick? You're a jerk. Hmm, yeah, well. Hmm, just be, just be nice to me, because I'm taking care of you, okay? Mm-hmm, I'm giving you cuddles. Even though you're <laughs> literally, like, you're burning up. I'm so sorry, babe. I know you're cold, but that's just the shivers, okay? Mm, I know. Does it feel better when I hug you? Alrighty. Good. Hmm? Love? <laughs> you're falling asleep, babe. Come on, stay awake. Stay awake to eat at least, okay? I'm really sorry, but I want you to stay awake just for a little bit to eat, okay? It'll be a lot better that way, and if you go to sleep hungry, you're gonna wake up feeling quite terrible. I know, we can, we can put on a show or whatever. Mm, yeah, if you fall asleep during it, I'll turn it off. Or I mean, if you like the sound in the background. <laughs> Yeah, I know, sometimes I like to fall asleep with, like, white noise or something. It's quite relaxing. Mm-hmm. Is it dark enough in here? Do you want me to, like, close the shades, or... I know, sleeping in the middle of the day is kind of hard. It just, um, maybe try to enjoy it? I know that sounds really weird, babe, but we can always make the best out of a bad situation. Yeah, just, uh, think about all the sleep you'll be catching up on. Mmm, babe, I'm sorry. Hmm? Oh, you're sore. Uh, yeah, yeah, sure. I know those eggs are pretty terrible. Do you want me to see if I can rub them out for you? Alright, good. Just, uh, sit up a little bit. I can work on your back a little. Do your shoulder blades and a little lower. How does that feel, babe? I know, I'm pushing my thumbs pretty deep, but I think that might be the best plan of action here. Mmm, yeah. 
Uh, did some of the achiness go away? All right, good. I'll just keep doing it then. Circles and up and down. Just tell me if it's um too much pressure, okay? Or if you want more, let me know. Mm, is it okay if I rub on your arms too? All right. Yeah, you're going to feel a little bit lightheaded, darling. Just keep going at those pop darts, okay? Don't worry. I'll just rub your shoulders and your back. Whisper in your ear and tell you that I love you very much. <laughs> Baby, I'm not trying to make you like squeal or tingle too much, but it is kind of fun. Just relax, darling. <laughs> I know it's a lot easier said than done, but after a massage, some food, and once we break this fever, you'll be feeling a lot better. Oh, I love you too, baby. Well, of course I do. <laughs> Why do you think I'm here cuddling you? Risking it all. I could wake up and be sick tomorrow. <laughs> oh, don't worry, baby. Because I know I have the best boyfriend ever who will, you know, treat me like a total queen. Mm-hmm. Well, <laughs> you always do, babe. And you deserve nothing less from me. Now, let's go ahead and watch some shows, shall we? Hey guys, it's Saturn, and I hope that you guys like the end of this audio. Um, I felt like I haven't done like a sick audio in a while, and you know, they're actually kind of fun to do, to be honest. I think one of the first audios I actually did was kind of one of these role plays, so it's been kind of under-recreated almost. Um, also, um, it's the end of cold and flu season where I live, as the warmer months are finally coming. So, yeah, that's kind of a good thing. As you can tell, I am... Actually, you know what, guys? I was gonna say I'm tired, but in reality, not really. I'm actually, like, tired from excitement almost because, you know, I got Easter coming up and I'm actually gonna go celebrate with my family, which is something I'm really looking forward to. Um, you know, last year when we had the pandemic, like, really surging and just starting out, uh, Easter kind of had to be canceled, but I'm happy that since some of my family members are vaccinated and, you know, there's some you know, new information out and stuff, it is actually possible for us to meet this time, which is always good. Uh, a couple of people asked me, because I mentioned previously that I had quite a few siblings, so yes. Um, I have a sister. And she's my twin, but we don't look alike at all. And I don't think we are very close, actually. Like, you know, in similar similarity? I guess I can't talk, guys. Um, in terms of our relationship, yeah, we're close, but we aren't identical. And then I have another sister who's younger, and then finally a younger brother. So I actually come out as one of the oldest, although I've always wanted to have an older brother as like, I don't know, a little girl. I thought it would be really cool. So that's just kind of like a side comment. But yeah, getting the family together, seeing my parents, and that's always a good time. So I guess it's just like tired excitement. It's, you know almost the weekend, I got Friday, and it's also the start of a new month, wow, I feel like it's been going by so fast, like, what is it, January, February, March, April, wow, we're like four months in, guys, that is insane, 2021 is going by, like, so crazy, but you know what, I feel like it's been a pretty okay year for us so far, so yeah, um, hopefully you guys are also looking forward to a holiday. I know Passover was just recently, or maybe it's going on now. You know, I really should learn more about Passover because I feel like it's pretty fun to learn about other cultures, traditions, religions, and, you know, it also kind of brings us together more as a society to acknowledge and learn about those types of things. So, yeah. <laughs> Um, maybe I'll make that my own personal project for tonight. Uh, you guys can probably tell I'm a little tired. I gotta do some 
prep work because I'm making some food for Easter and ah, it's so much work, but it is so much fun. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. I love you all and make sure you're taking care of yourselves. Hopefully you aren't actually sick and if you are, I hope you get better soon. I love you guys.